What if everything you knew about the future of cars was suddenly wrong? Elon Musk has sparked a storm with whispers of a revolutionary water engine, one that could make electric cars obsolete. Is this the next big leap or just a brilliant distraction? The truth behind the headline is more shocking than you think. How Tesla dominated EVs. Let's rewind the clock. It's in the early 2000s. Gasoline cars ruled the world. EVs? They were seen as a joke, too slow, too expensive, and totally impractical. Big automakers weren't interested. They stuck with what they knew, gasoline engines. Most people thought electric cars were ugly, boring, or just science experiments on wheels. The idea of an EV company taking on giants like Ford or Toyota seemed impossible. Then, something unexpected happened. A small startup named Tesla emerged. It didn't look like a major threat at first, but it had something different. A dream that didn't play by the rules. And behind that dream was Elon Musk. He didn't start Tesla, but when he joined the company in 2004, everything shifted. He invested millions of his own money, took a leading role, and brought a vision that went far beyond just building another car. He wanted to start a revolution. Musk once said, my goal was never to make the best electric car. It was to make the best car, period. That bold statement set the tone for what Tesla would become. They weren't going to settle for good enough. They wanted to prove that electric cars could outperform gas cars in every way. Tesla's first major vehicle was the Roadster, launched in 2004. It wasn't cheap, and it wasn't meant to be. This was a statement car. It could go from zero to 60 miles per hour in under four seconds. It was sleek, high-tech, and entirely electric. For the first time, people saw that EVs didn't have to be boring. They could be powerful, fast, beautiful. The Roadster didn't sell in huge numbers, but it proved a point. Electric cars could be cool. That was just the beginning. In 2012, Tesla released the Model S and the automotive world would never be the same. The Model S looked like a luxury sedan, but under the hood, it was pure innovation. It had an enormous touchscreen instead of traditional buttons. It received over-the-air software updates, just like your phone. And it could beat sports cars in a drag race, all while producing zero emissions. The Model S wasn't just a car, it was a glimpse into the future. What made Tesla different was their boldness. While other car companies dabbled in hybrids or made slow moves toward electrification, Tesla went all in. No gas engines, no backup plans, just clean, full electric vehicles. Elon Musk wanted to shake up the industry, not just participate in it. And it worked. The next step was even bigger. Tesla wanted to make electric cars affordable for the masses. That goal led to the creation of the Model 3. In 2016, Tesla opened pre-orders, and what happened next shocked the world. Within just a few days, Tesla received over 400,000 reservations. People lined up outside Tesla stores as if they were buying a new iPhone. The excitement was real, and it was everywhere. But Tesla wasn't just building cars, they were building everything around the car, too. They created their own charging network, superchargers, so Tesla drivers wouldn't have to worry about where to charge on a road trip. They built gigafactories to produce their own batteries. They even developed their own self-driving software. While other car companies were outsourcing, Tesla was doing it all in-house. Elon Musk once said, We realized the only way to scale fast enough was to build the machine that builds the machine. Of course, the journey wasn't smooth. There were massive challenges along the way. In 2018, Tesla faced what Musk described as production hell. Cars were delayed, investors were nervous, and critics said Tesla wouldn't survive. Elon Musk admitted he was sleeping on the factory floor. I didn't have time to go home and shower, he said in an interview. It was a rough time, but Tesla pushed through. And then something amazing happened. The world started to catch up. Governments introduced incentives for EVS countries announced bans on gas cars in the coming decades. 
Even Tesla's rivals, Ford, GM, Volkswagen, started rushing to develop their own electric lineups. Tesla had changed the game. Today, Tesla is the most valuable automaker in the world. Its cars are seen not just as vehicles, but as tech products, sleek, smart, and constantly improving. Features like autopilot, full self-driving software, and constant updates have made Tesla a symbol of innovation. Elon Musk, love him or hate him, is now one of the most influential figures in both tech and transportation. So how did Tesla dominate EVs? By dreaming big, by refusing to follow the rules, by pushing through failure after failure until the world finally noticed. While others played it safe, Tesla took risks, and those risks paid off. In less than two decades, they turned electric vehicles from a joke into the future of transportation. And they didn't just challenge gas cars, they outperformed them. Elon Musk and Tesla showed the world what's possible when you stop asking, what if, and start saying, why not? And that's how Tesla didn't just survive, it took over. Just as Tesla was dreaming bigger than ever, a new buzz took over the auto world one that shocked everyone and instantly shifted the spotlight away from Tesla. The water engine buzz. Just when everyone thought the future of cars belonged to electric vehicles, a new wave of excitement crashed into the auto industry, and it had one surprising word at its core. Water. Yes, water. The same liquid that fuels life might now power cars. At first, it sounded like science fiction or another internet rumor. But the more people looked into it, the more serious the buzz became. A handful of researchers and companies around the world have been quietly working on an engine that could use water, or hydrogen extracted from water, as fuel. And now, the spotlight is shifting. The basic idea is simple. Break water into its basic elements, hydrogen and oxygen, and use the hydrogen to power the car. When hydrogen is used in a fuel cell, it doesn't produce smoke, or CO2. The only byproduct is, get this, water vapor. Clean, silent, and surprisingly powerful. One of the biggest names chasing this dream is Toyota. While everyone else was rushing into battery-powered EVs, Toyota kept focusing on hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Their car, the Toyota Mirai, is already on the roads in countries like Japan, Germany, and parts of the U.S., it runs on compressed hydrogen gas, takes only five minutes to refuel, and can go over 400 miles on a single tank. For drivers who hate waiting at charging stations, that's a big deal.